Well, times have changed. Nowadays, we just take these vehicles for granted. And we're even talking about going from a combustible engine to electric. But what about, let's look at a time back 120 years ago, when they was trying to switch over from wagons and horses to automobiles back in these old mountains, a time past. Now back then, all they had was wagon or a truck, set of mules or horses pulling, and roads like this. And these old people in these mountains, they made it, raised it, traded for it, or they done without. An old set of mules was their transportation. They used them to deliver mail and goods from community to community to let throughout these little towns in these mountains and hollers. This is what they used. And just a trip to the store, what stores they had, would be a half a day's ride just to get some coal oil for their lamps and stuff like that. That's the way it was back in them days. Just little old trails just to get through. And on the farm, they used these animals as their machine, pulling their stuff around to work with. And then was simple time. But it was hard work plowing these fields by hand. Set of mules or horses pulling them. That was some back-breaking work all day long. And they started at young ages, too, in these, in these mountains. But the first automobile to, for sale in the U.S. was around 1896. Looked more or less like a four-wheel bicycle to me. But this is about what the, this is what it looked like. First automobiles went on sale. But they didn't come into these mountains to about 20, 25 years later. Nobody could afford them. They slowly started coming in here, probably in the late teens. And here's the prices of them, the Model T, back when they started coming in this area. Here they are in the prices of them. But they didn't have much to drive on in them days. The old road and wagon roads, when it rained, these vehicles just couldn't handle that. They stayed stuck more than they did anything. You can see the old roads they had to travel on. Just old dirt, rocky roads. No foundation under them. And these old vehicles took them out real quick. And like I said, they here was the record, I guess the record truck of the day, tow truck, an old trusty mule. I'd say they pulled a lot of them out of these creeks and old road. Kind of comical here. You look at it. Old set of mules and horses. Pulled an old Model T out of the road. Just stuck. They just couldn't pull like them horses and stuff. The road conditions couldn't handle them. And there was no such thing as a four-wheel drive. Kind of comical here. See the old guy sticking his head up over there on the passenger side, looking towards the camera. I thought that was kind of funny. Old times of the past. And their road hazards of the day was a rock slide or just livestock cattle in the road. Simple time. Nowadays, if one gets in the road, it would completely destroy a vehicle. And they didn't have no special roads then, no bridges or nothing else. They crossed these creeks. And if the creeks were good rain, they couldn't cross them. They're stuck. They used ferries back in them days. Just old ferries. Are you across from one side of the river or waterway to the other? And what bridges they had looked something like this. Old rickety thing. 
about risk your life just driving across one of them. Boards are slapping up and down. That's the way it was in them days, starting out. But as time went on, they modernized the roads, started paving them, more or less just wagon trails, paved. Old tracks like this. But they got you from one place to another. But off of them roads, they still got stuck. Even as times went on, modern more vehicles come up. They just didn't have four-wheel drives in them days. And people still relied on horses to get around. Even though people was using automobiles an awful lot. And the old trucks would come out. People still relied on these horses. And a lot of people, you got to understand, just couldn't afford these vehicles. They were just out of reach back in them days for a lot of people. And old trusty horses, what they still use on these farms. Old pictures like this, growing up on the farm. And they use machinery like this pulled by a trusty set of mules, horses, to cut the field, plow. This is what they used in them days. And they work. But nowadays, the old combustible tractor come out back then. Old tractors like this. These are things of the past too. But they're still being used on these farms. A lot of them are just Sitting resting away, they went to modern more equipment. But this is what they started out with. The old Ford track. All makes and models. They come into these farms and they were more productive. But they were costly, just like an automobile, and a lot couldn't afford them at first. And right here, back on the big farm, especially out west, look at the horses. I can't imagine them tying up and all this harness, all this hardware on these horses to pull these big cultivators out there in them fields. That's amazing. But nowadays, they can do a hundredfold what them horses could do. Big old cultivators like this more productive on these farms. The big farm. But them days is long past. Even the old vehicle just sitting and rusting down on an old farm in an old garage or in a field. Just time's gone by. Even the old junkyard, they're about gone. Not many old junkyards you see around. They're still around. These old vehicles like this, time of the past. These probably got five miles a gallon. But they was, they was monsters in their day. And the old moonshine runners, they really made these cars go. But them days is the time of the past. They loved these old cars. They made them run. And the old shade mood tree mechanic used to, if you had a little common sense, a little technology about you, mechanical ability, anybody could get out here and fix an old car. An old junk car, you could get parts off hit, put it on another one, get it running, or go down to the old junkyard somewhere and get you a part, and you can keep these things running. The shade tree mechanic days is long gone. They are too complicated nowadays. So I thought I'd share these little stories with you. Hope you enjoyed this. This thing is a thing of the past. I like showing you the history of this old country. So I want to thank you for watching. 
God bless, and I'll see you next time.